today's video is going to be a massive, a massive clothing haul featuring my princess here. Dakota is one years old. She actually is 18 months, a year and a half come November, which is like next week. She's like, who are you talking to? But I've done tons and tons and tons of hauling for her. So I kind of have everything right here and we're going to jump right into it because there is so much stuff. Today I went shopping and I got my bags. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. And this is pretty much like 99.99999% hers. So first of all, let's get a thumbnail in. You know, we got to get the infamous thumbnail. So I think I got it. I'm going to sit everything around me. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I also have a ton of hangers because I like to use the felt hangers. These are just easier to use. The clothes don't fall off. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed a bunch of hangers so that I can hang as I go. You guys won't see that part of it, but um, I don't even think this is enough hangers here. I think I'm going to have to grab some more. But I went ahead and went through her closet yesterday and got rid of everything she didn't need. I like to go through every few months maybe about every three to four months and just pull out stuff that's got dingy or stained too small whatever the case may be and just go ahead and replenish didn't plan on replenishing this much but we did so, so I'm gonna start with children's place the children's place stuff was pretty much easy um I did get her a couple of shirts that are in her drawer but I'm not even gonna bother to pick those up just because those are not really that significant um but I did get her three pairs of boots I kind of want to go back and get the black ones and the pink ones but I was in love she's finally a size four in shoes well she's actually still a size three but she can kind of sort of fit a four with the sock and she'll be growing into a, a, a four a three is a little bit like perfect for her to where it doesn't slip or move but at the same time like I'm not really gonna buy any more threes so I just bought her a bunch of like boots and stuff these here are super cute. It's like a little riding boot. I'm so excited that she's a size 4 just because like she's finally in the little kid like toddler size where she can find like, I can find like boots and stuff like this for her because when she's a size 3 they only really have like baby shoes for her. So these are really 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 going to be cute with a little pair of like black jeans, a cute little sweater. Um, I'm going to play these up a few times this fall and winter so I can't wait for her to wear these. Babe things are so funny looking, but I think these are absolutely gorgeous. And she's Hi sitting girl. here eating her snack, and she's saying, hey Google, I need to fit her hair, I need to fix her hair. It's been a long day, and she's in shambles, but she wanted to be a part of the video, so she's going to be a part of these. Do you like these, Coco? You like your shoes? So these here are the next boot that I bought. It actually was cold like last Saturday and I was like, oh, it's time for the fall. And I went and bought a ton of like fall appropriate boots. She didn't really have any except for her Uggs and her moccasins. So these are really, really cute. Um, what made me buy these in this little holographic tone is Target has a rain jacket that's almost the same type of holographic like plastic um material and it's going to be really really cute together i actually went into target today to get the the raincoat to match it but um they didn't have her size so i will be checking for that and i will get that um from another target probably tomorrow and then this is the third pair that um i bought her if you follow me on instagram then you've seen these like last sunday these look so cute they're like um they're reminiscent of like a timberland boot in shape um they have a lace-up detail and they also zip on the side um but they're like a nice like champagne gold color they look so cute on her feet i absolutely love these and again i got a four in all of them the next store we bought a pair of shoes from were vans she's actually wore these once but they're like a, a silver um like a gunmetal gray with like a little bit of um glitter in it super cute and simple for her little dainty feet um these are also a size four now with the boots the size four fits with the vans the size four is a little bit too big so i do have to put on like slouch socks or something cute with them for her to fit for them to fit her feet otherwise they do not fit so next up is the stores we went to in the mall i actually went to h m to get diamond um Something to wear for school on Monday. It's just a skeleton suit. She has one too, which I'll show in a minute. And that's just going to be for the pumpkin patch next week. 
but I went ahead and got her these little flats. I got a size 18-19, which is for two and a half to three and a half years old. These were $12.99, and they're just like a nice little cute rose gold flat. Now, yesterday I went into Target. Bless you, baby. Yesterday I went into Target and I seen a ton of stuff that I really, really liked. I tried to resist and I waited to go um, and shop. So I woke up today and I went ahead and got all the stuff that I liked. Starting with these cute little jeans here. Um, I think all the jeans there are $10. I got a 12 month and the shape is a skinny jean. I really, really, really like these. Um, something that I realized when I went to her drawer last night is she didn't have any real jeans. She had like two pair of like the jegging type of jeans, but she didn't have like a good, good, good pair of jeans. So I thought that these were really cute. A really nice dark wash. She was a baby baby. I really didn't put any jeans on her almost at all, and I never really put shoes on her, which is kind of why I felt the need to get like a bunch of shoes and a bunch of like jeans for her just because she really didn't have many at all. And now that she's becoming a big girl, I think they look cute on. The next pair I got was a pair of purple from Target, and these also were $10. Um, the, so the style is skinny, so these are going to look really, really, really cute with a bunch of her little tops. I also picked up the pink, and the pink I picked up last night. So she's going to have a nice little set of jeans to be able to mix and match different looks. Um, here, this is a cute little cardigan I also picked up from Target. It's a nice tan color, and it has a bunch of little... Um, balls on them that are different colors you have the mint the pink and the blue and I thought this would be cute together with just like a nice like plain maybe white top or any color top that's in here a tan top or anything like that with these jeans would be super cute and then for example these little cute um rose gold flats from H&M will look cute and complimented to this outfit I bought her a bunch of other colors as well I could even do the boot with it but you know I just like to have you know different things to mix and match Next from Target was this cute little dress. Now, it's still pretty warm here in L.A. Today was like low 90s. So, um, she probably won't be able to wear this a whole lot just yet. But on the days when we do get um, a little bit of cold, I definitely will be excited to put these little warm sweaters on her. I got this one here. Um, I absolutely love this. This is going to look really cute with the blue jeans and either some boots or some flats. Um, and this one was $19.99. I just absolutely love that color. She doesn't have anything this color. So this one was a shirt and then this one is an actual dress. This was definitely going to look good with these rose gold flats. So just a nice little cute dress. Be simple to just put on this little dress with her little flats and maybe put on some bloomers so that her diaper doesn't show and be good to go. Um, this one also would be cute. Um, this one will also be cute with some little flats. I probably would more so do maybe some boots with this one. Um, these holographics will make it look a little bit funky and stylish, but more so probably flats. But if you kind of want to switch up the look and make it a little bit more funky, you can throw on a pair of boots. Um, not these so much, but, you know, she still has other shoes and stuff too, so I'll definitely be able to mix and match. Also from Target, I picked up some basics. I feel like every time I go into the kids section, I'm picking up basics for one of them, especially her because she stains and grows out of and shrinks and all that stuff. So, um, these are from the Cat and Jack brand. These are $5.50 each, and I just got like a long sleeve pink one. This one has some little silver flecks with it, so I'll be able to do like the pink jeans. And then I'll show you in a minute, she got some silver flats. Really simple and cute and good to go. She can even put on these holographic boots like I like to have a bunch of different options and just be able to mix and match you know whatever need be this one was five dollars even and it's also like a basic t-shirt from the cat and jack brand at target so that'll be nice to have um I got her a gray one and the gray one has silver flex too the ones that have the silver flex are 50 cent more so this one was 550 um and then a white one she has two of these white ones already but I like to keep like a fresh white and a fresh black just because they look so good with some of her outfits and it's always great that they're like fresh and like nicely crisp you know and then I had got her a navy blue one she didn't have one in this color five dollars super simple but now also from Target today I picked up this um hoodie and it has the skull skeleton theme on it so basically I picked up this jacket here and it looks like when you put the hood on, it's a cat with a heart-shaped nose. I don't know if you guys can really tell. But I was moving so quick 
that I picked with the skull um, style or skeleton style leggings and last night I was putting it on the hanger and I realized it's not even the right match so this one is coming off the hanger and it's gonna go back because we don't have a need for it um, and we're gonna keep this one so we have the skull or skeleton style leggings and then the matching jacket the only thing I'm reluctant to take it back all together is just because um, we're going to the pumpkin patch so I thought it would be cute to do like a matching cute little um, set for them for like a Halloween style set um, for the pumpkin patch on Tuesday and then of course they have their Halloween costumes on Wednesday but I'm kind of like they're gonna wear it that one day and then like I probably won't put it back on them again just because it's Halloween theme and then I got a little shirt to go underneath and it says boo squad so she might just wear the boo squad shirt it has a purple um, Halloween bucket that you probably can't see it from this far back but um, the the ghost here is wearing a purple um, Halloween bucket or holding one. So I thought it would be cute to do her purple skinny jeans like this on Monday so that we can just have a fun filled Halloween week. Um, they're gonna make some, um, what do you call it, some pumpkins. We're gonna do some slime, we're gonna do the pumpkin patch. We're gonna do a few things this week to celebrate, or not even to celebrate Halloween, but just to, you know, be festive. So she can wear this on like Monday and she can wear this on Tuesday. Ooh, are you okay? But they didn't have a matching set, um, the school style, like Dakota's at Target in his size. So I was able to go into H&M and this actually came as a set. Um, and his is a little bit more school style. So they'll be able to kind of sort of match. And then they both have a pair of black chucks. So they'll pretty much match for that. Oh, also from Target, um, this is stuff that I bought um, a little bit while ago, but I really love like their jackets and their outerwear. It doesn't get that cold in LA, but they just are so cute. So I got this jacket and I thought it would be cute with these boots. She also has a pair of like champagne color um, vans that are actually downstairs. So I can't show you right now, but this um, jacket would be cute with those vans. But since they're not up here, I thought I would show you with the boots, which is a little white top underneath and some blue jeans. Really cute. This one here is to live for. It's like a um, full suede kind of brown jacket. This is going to be so, 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 so cute. Um, and then this one here, I absolutely love it. Um, the holographic boot will be cute with it just because it reflects like pink and purple and blue. So it'll be really cute. Um, not sure exactly how I'm going to style it. I'm going to try and let her at least wear like once or twice during the fall before um, it warms up again. Or not even the fall, but the winter. I just thought it was a cute little piece, so I bought it. Next up is Old Navy. Now, in Old Navy, um, I went there today and I really wasn't expecting to buy much. Now, if you know me, you know I buy at least one fur vest every single fall, winter season. It's funny. What I love about this one is that it's super thick and it looks like a really good quality. Obviously, it's faux, but this is going to be really, really cute over a bunch of her cute little outfits. Sometimes you need a little bit of something to accessorize or sometimes you just want to... Um, at a vest because it's a little cool so i'll be able to do this for different reasons it'll be so she doesn't have a lot of dresses i realized today she doesn't or last night that she doesn't really have a lot of dresses i don't really dress her super duper girly all the time just because it's easier to put her in some pants you know i don't have to worry about her diaper everywhere and all that stuff but i do definitely want to have some more dresses for her i'm very much a girl that would put on like a dress with some boots maybe not this boot specifically but like a dress with any cute pair of boots that she has and like a denim jacket on top. It has the flowers, but they're more like, um, because it has the black on top, it kind of is something that is still appropriate for fall. Like it's not too summer or too spring. I can, again, um, you know, pair with a, a denim jacket or a cardigan, and I can do like some um, tights under if it's actually cold. Probably won't be cold when I wear it or when she wears it, so I probably would just do like this dress and some flats to keep it simple. But I'm trying to turn it into like a look, like an Instagram vibe. I probably would put on the boots, a denim jacket, and make it a whole little vibe. She also has a cute little brown braided belt, so I could kind of cinch it a little bit, um, you know, if I just really wanted to make it a vibe and a look. So this next dress, I don't think she can wear it yet. I don't even know why I liked it or felt the need to have it so much. It's 18 to 24 months, 
So dresses, you can kind of get away with wearing them if they're a little bit bigger, opposed to like a shirt or a pants that you know is too big. So we'll see how it's going to fit on her. Um, normally, I buy her 12 to 18 just because she just hit 18 months and she still fits a 12 month true to size. A lot of the times when I buy her specifically an 18 month item, um, it still has a little bit of room to grow. So 18 to 24 might be a little bit too big, but it's just as cute burgundy corduroy dress and then i seen these little shoes in um, old navy as well and they're the same burgundy color i thought it was a vibe like it's not necessarily like when i was sitting here i'm like this is not the cutest outfit in here there's definitely an outfit in here that i can buy that is more cute or more you know bold or you know whatever but for some reason it's just 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 this was just a vibe that i didn't want to leave and i don't even know why it's definitely cute but it's not like the best thing since sliced bread but again i can turn it into an instagram look and do a little belt around she does have again um a nice little belt that'll be really cool to accentuate it or instead of doing a belt I can do like a turban around her head and just make it a whole little vibe if it's actually chilly I'll go ahead and pull out a pair of her tights um and it'll just be really cute so hopefully um if it is too big I'll be able to cinch it if not I'll hold on to it and she'll be able to wear that you know in a month or two because she still grows super fast so along with these burgundy little um flats I picked up three more um, I got the gold pair, I got the silver pair, and I got the red pair. So, so I got her the four pair from Old Navy, and then of course I got her a pair from H&M as well. The H&M ones are much better quality than these. These are a lot more flimsy, but since she has such a variety of them, she'll be able to get a good wear out of them. Um, but you know, there were $12.99 each. The ones from Old Navy are $12.99 and then the ones from H&M are also $12.99. So regardless of whatever. You want something BJ? But um, again, with all of the dresses and the girly pieces that I bought, the sweaters and stuff like that. Um, you know, with this dress, I don't want to put on some Jordans or some Nikes. I want to put it on a pair of flats. If I wanted to put this jacket on, it's going to look better with the flat. This jacket here will look good with the gold flaps. So now that I've ranted about that, we're gonna move on to Carter's. So there's no Carter's in the mall, but around the corner from the mall there is a standalone Carter's. And for some reason, I just decided, let me go over there and go. I've actually never been to that one before, but again, I was just on a mission to like buy her like little world today. And I forgot I got her two more pairs. So she got one, two, three, four, five, she got seven pair of flats, so she definitely won't be getting any more flats this season. I got these, which I didn't even realize are the same, like, full suede as this. This, this is going to be so, 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 so cute. I actually would do, like, a medium wash skinny jean with, like, a white top, like a long sleeve, just plain white top, and that's going to look cute. Um, She can do, like, a cute little dress. But having a pair of shoes that complement a jacket like this will help me to get a better wear out of it for her. Because again, I'll put it on with some jeans um, and um, a plain top. I can put it on with a dress. I can do so many different things with this look. But, you know, it just makes it feel better when it comes together as a look. You know what I mean? And then I also got these. I feel like I always see these in, like, Gap or just different little stores. And it's almost like they just rub, um, they just put glue and just fill it with glitter. They're more of a navy blue um, vibe. I really haven't gotten her anything um, this color. But I did get her, you know, a navy blue basic top. So again, just a pair of jeans, a cute little skirt. Um, she has like an overall skirt where it's like the skirt at the bottom that's overall over. I could put that on and put the navy blue top under the overall in these. And just make it so cute. So have fun with your looks and don't feel too intimidated. I know I finished with H&M, but I forgot to show you guys this shirt. And you guys are going to die. Now, let me just say, this is not the cutest shirt in the world. But when you make it into a mommy and me complete look, it is lit. This is um, pretty much like a velvet style um, little t-shirt. Mine has the cute little ruffles on the sleeve and so does hers. The only difference between mine and hers is that when you look at it close, it has silver specks all throughout the entire shirt, which I love. And hers doesn't have that, but it's close enough that it's still a mommy and me vibe. Now, I keep talking about distressed jeans. I think this is going to look good, like a medium wash skinny jean. 
You can do the dark wash, but I feel like this is too dark. A medium wash or a light wash would complement this look better. And then what I would do from there is a silver shoe. Flats. Oh, she did get a pair of jeans. Oh, I did buy her a pair of medium wash jeans from Target. I'm not sure how these are going to fit, but I did get these last night and I absolutely forgot. See, I got so much stuff. I don't remember what I got. These were $10 and they're from the Cat and Jack brands. It does have like a complimentary ruffle on the pocket, which makes it super perfect. Because if you look at this top, it has the ruffle on... Um, it has the ruffle on the sleeves and then it has a ruffle on the pocket so it's almost like a match made in heaven so for her I'm gonna do this top with these skinny jeans I might be kind of fancy and just put a rip in the knee or just take a razor while the jean is off of her and kind of like distress them a little bit and put them in the wash just so they can have like a little bit of a cute little vibe to them if I don't do that then I just will cuff it like once at the very bottom just to give it a look you know just to give it a little bit of personality and then to um, and then to set that off, I would do her silver flats. So that's going to be a look. It's going to definitely be a vibe. I might even go in and do like a turban on her head. I can do. Um, I'll go to Joanne's and find um, some material that is as close to blue to this as possible, and do a turban on her head. I'm definitely determined to make that a look before Friday. So make sure you follow me on YouTube because I'm definitely going to make this a look by Friday um, and get some pictures of us in this on the gram. I'm going to use my big camera and make it a whole look. I'm actually super excited. So yeah, so she has these and then I have these. So whenever I want to do a mommy and me look, it'll be really cute because this is like the mommy version of her flats. So we still have more from Carter. Um, I picked up this matching separates. I absolutely love matching separates. This one caught my attention. It's just very me in my style. I'm a leopard queen. So um, I got this one and then um, further in the store I found the matching leggings. So the first time she wears this 9 times out of 10 she'll wear it together. You finished? Okay, do you want to eat another snack? Mm. Y'all, she's been so good and so quiet. I'm so proud of her. So we're going to give her a Nutri-Grain bar. Ooh, we got two pieces. It almost has a gray vibe, so I either would do these. I probably would do her silver um, vans, but if not, I would do her little flats. The, thing, the one thing that I like about flats, especially for her age group, is that this I never have to tie. It slips right on, and it's going to be super easy. It also hugs her feet. I feel like with tennis shoes, they always like flop off. And then I feel more so like when she wears tennis shoes, I have to put a sock on her. I never have to put a sock on with the flat and I never have to like tie her shoe. And that's why flats um, just get my heart so much. But we have more stuff. So again, I just realized that she doesn't have a whole lot of dresses. And I kind of felt guilty because um, I do feel like I dress her a little bit more like daycare. I feel like when I buy clothes for her, I keep in mind that I want them to number one last. And I want to be able to get as good of use as it, out of it as possible. So, so something like this where it's like a matching separate and I know I can get like six different outfits out of this and I can just keep letting her wear it over and over and over again. Um, it's something I would more so gravitate to than a dress like this. I thought this was so cute. They're bringing out the holiday style dresses. So they had many that had like the plaid. Um, the red plaid, the green plaid, and just like the champagne and the gold. And I definitely wanted to get her a couple, but this is just something I probably wouldn't put her on a, on a Tuesday to go to Target and pick Diamond up from school. You know what I mean? So um, I kind of want to integrate a few here and there. So, I thought this one was cute. It wasn't too much pressure. It wasn't, you know, like doing too much. I think the red would make it a little bit more festive and give it a little bit of a pop. So, I'm trying to get the family to church, and now she has a church dress. So, something she was lacking um, that I pretty much got rid of, majority of, when I went through her drawer yesterday was basics. Um, she's starting to get to the age where I feel like she's starting to grow out of the onesie type of tops. So, I was going to get a white set, and I was going to get um, this set, which is the whole reason I went into Carter's for these sets. But I ended up not getting the white set just because I'm going to go on Amazon or somewhere and try to find like um, Burt's Bees or somebody who has the t-shirts in her size. Because if she's actually like wearing like um, leggings like this, I don't mind her having this over it. 
but it kind of looks babyish and I feel like she's starting to grow out of that babyish look so I would prefer to her to have on a t-shirt but she's still a baby in my eyes so I still bought these um but yeah like after bath time these are my favorite types of tops to put on her and then at the doorbuster table at the beginning of um Carter's they also have these cute little matching separates so I got this in 18 months because usually this is something that it's okay if it's a little bit baggy. It should be able to grow into it, but she could still wear it now. And it's just a gray um, sweatsuit matching separates with the little floral flowers on it. Um, I probably would more so put on some tennis shoes with this, but because it is a set, she doesn't have a pink shirt in this color. So this is kind of like one of those times when I probably would put one of these on her um, to go out of the house like in the daytime as an outfit. And then they had a few items on the clearance. Um, lately, I never look at the clearance just because I always have my kids with me and I just don't have time to go through each thing the way I used to. I absolutely love sales racks and clearance racks and Ross. I just don't have the time that I used to to actually take the time. But Daddy did take the kids for the day today, so I was able to take my time. I pulled up more stuff, but I knew my total was going to be like over 180 bucks um, just at Carter's alone. So I kind of put some of the stuff back guiltily guiltily is that guiltily a word so this here is just a cute little pair of shorts they're kind of more so like a safari style short probably more um appropriate for like summer and spring which is probably why they were on the clearance rack but they ended up being only two dollars and 99 cents so i really couldn't pass them up they were a size um 12 month originally 16 dollars but you know but these will these will go in her drawer and they'll be cute for something like if you look at the um ribbon or the the fake drawstring here it has like a silver um it's tan but it has like silver um stitching on it so you know you could finesse it and turn this into a cute little outfit with some um knee-high uh, socks and her little boots or some starch socks and her little boots where are the boots you know you can get creative make it a vibe even just the boots in general with like a solid color top a white top you know you can make it a vibe they were three dollars so really 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 um really can go wrong with them and then she's never had a turtleneck before this one was 6.99 um i didn't see any more this is a size 18 month but again we're going into the cold we're going into the holidays um this is definitely going to look cute with the overall i don't know what it is about turtlenecks with overalls that i love so much but this is definitely going to be really cute you know what i'm wearing but this is definitely going to be super cute in my opinion. Um, I actually even bought this. It's just reminding me of an Instagram vibe. Um, like a turtleneck with like some gray biker shorts. Or these are like sweats for the like skinny sweats if you will. Okay so she's starting to be over it. Um, so we're going to try and wrap it up. Hopefully this video isn't too long. Again I am the Cheetah Leopard Queen. I have a haul coming up um, of my own. I just did a bunch of shopping at Fashion Nova. So I'm going to head to my room after this and film my video. But um, the last thing that I bought today was this cute little cheetah print vest. Again, I love, 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 love vests in the fall, especially like leopard print, fur, stuff like that. So I picked this out. I got a 12 month. The 18 month was what I picked up at first. And for some reason, I was like, no, switch to the 12 because I didn't really want it to fit like extra baggy. And I knew the 18 would. It would look cute, but it would look um, baggy. So I probably would just simply put this on like a black long sleeve and some black um, skinny jeans and just keep it super simple. Maybe some boots, maybe, you know, whatever. But um, as I was about to check out, I noticed they had these socks in Carter's. And they're just little small socks with cheetah prints. So I thought this would be really cute if um, I did like her little boots. So I thought it would be cute. Um, I kept her little boots in mind and I thought it would be cute to like let her wear these socks where you could kind of see the boot like poking out just a little, I'm sorry, the sock poking out just a little bit. Um, and you know, the look with the vest. Okay, so I think I'm gonna wrap it up for today because I don't want this video to be too long. But we definitely have a couple of more items. Um, I always like find cute little tops and like outfits and stuff on Amazon. If I'm in a shopping mood, I'll just buy like one or two tops from Amazon and they're like $5.99, $3.99. Super inexpensive. So this is one that I got. It's cute, huh? You like it? So this is a cute little bodysuit. Um, it has like the ruffle flare, um, you know, arms. So if you want to be grown, you can kind of make it hang out the shoulder. I probably won't. I'll just leave it as is. But I think it's really, really cute. Bless you. I'll try to find it and link it down below. 
but it's a nice thicker quality I'm actually very surprised at the way it is um, I actually want to do this with a black tutu she doesn't have one and then some cute little boots so I'm thinking I'll do like um, a ruffled black tutu with the black boots that are literally just like these and that's going to be like an Instagram look I can even drape her little leatherette jacket on her. This one is from Kate Spade. I actually bought it from Nordstrom. It's a size 12 months and it has the gold detail. It's a very nice quality jacket. It looks really, 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 really good. So that's going to be a little bit of a vibe. And then this is the other one that I picked up. I actually wanted this top in the army green. I think it was out of stock in her size. So I got the yellow, but the yellow will go with a bunch of things. It's just a simple onesie. Um, but you know it has like the ruffles around it um, as long as it washes up well I probably will go back and get the um, the khaki green and the pink one maybe even the white one I just like having a few different pieces that are not so like children's place cars it's kind of you know Instagram-esque and all of that um, from polo she got three pieces and her dad actually bought this stuff um, this is a cute little dress um, he picked it out, but I picked the size. I told him to get 18 months because she has enough 12 months and it actually is pretty huge. So I kind of wish I would have had him get the 12. Might go and exchange it or I'll just hold on to it and hopefully by, you know, at the Christmas, December time she'll be able to wear it. This one is really, really cute. And again, it came from Macy's from Polo. This one is also really, really, really cute. These all came with the matching like navy blue bloomers. And then a sweater, and the sweater will obviously go with both shirts, and also the sweater will just go with anything in general. I love these sweaters from Polo. I love the cashmere-ish look to them. They're not cashmere, but, you know, they just have like a nice little preppy look to them. And then she got two of these, and these just were random pickups. This one I picked up from Ross, and it is Puma. She has a pair of orange and white Puma um, tennis shoes. So I was thinking if I did not get her the um, skeleton outfit for Halloween, she was just going to wear this black and white puma um, with the orange top underneath. And then, um, so kind of unzip and kind of see, and then her orange and white, I'm sorry, yeah, her orange and white pumas, and it kind of would have been a little bit of a vibe. I didn't get it from the boy section, but you know, sometimes I like to do the boyish, tomboyish look for her. And then last but not least from Gap, I got her this one. Um, this one is just a simple, and again, it came from the boy section. I like to get the ones from the boy section, but now I try to make sure that they have the foot cut out just because um, she walks. So um, I need to make sure that she's able to put on tennis shoes and not walk around, you know, with her feet. Again, this one came from the boy section, so I definitely would do like bows on her hair to make sure, you know, she's a girl. Um, and I'm not sure what shoes she would wear with this one, but the purpose of this one is I got to... Um, Oh, you got your hair? But the, but the purpose of this one was um, I bought diamond uh, uh, hoodie. That's the exact same red with the Gap logo. And then Mommy also has the crew neck that's exactly the same. So, um, again, I want to do more of the Mommy and Me, like, Instagram posts. I'm trying to get to 50K over on Instagram. We're almost at 100K here on YouTube. We're actually literally at, like, 98,700. So, we have, like, maybe... 1300 maybe even less than that away from hopefully we'll be able to make it there by November 1st I'm shooting for so make sure you subscribe to your girl and support the channel I'm trying to try to try to switch up the content here I have some vlogs I haven't had time to put up but um, I vlogged Diamond's first day of school I um, di I vlogged Diamond's picture day and us finding an outfit for him and how the picture day went um, I also vlogged Diamond's um, I also vlogged Diamond's um, field trip to the pumpkin patch. It was his first field trip ever where he got to ride the yellow school bus. So um, I have all of that footage. I've got three vlogs coming up for you guys. Um, and then there's going to be at least four cooking videos on the channel for the month of November in um, preparation for Thanksgiving. I also, I'm going to film um, their room. It's not completely done yet. I'm still in the midst of getting it together in here. So I'm about 95% done. I just have things that I want to hang on the wall. And um, their toy storage is kind of my big dilemma. So give me some tips and tricks on toy storage and what you do to um store your kids toys Ooh, farted. so yeah we have some uber eats on the way we're about to chill hang out hang up all these clothes and go ahead and get to my haul so make sure you're subscribed and you turn your notifications on so mommy's haul mommy's haul is going to be a try on haul so when that goes up you guys will be notified exactly when it comes up right 
I love you. I'm talking to mommy. Give me care. Ooh, dang, smoke it. You don't make the noise. Give me a kiss. Ooh. Yeah, but it's about time for her. She has crumbs and everything all over her face, and she's ready to chill with mom and dad. So let me know if you guys want a hair care routine. Um, if I do the hair care routine, it'll be just like part one, and I'm just going to continue to ongoing do um her hair journey um again i'm just starting her hair journey so i want you guys to give me tips and tricks and suggestions i'm still learning how to style her hair as she, you know she grows and gets more ready for um you know big girl hairstyles and stuff like that and braids and stuff um so let me know if you guys want me to start that series here let me know if you guys want to see a nighttime room with a uh, nighttime routine with the kids so thank you guys so much for watching our food is here so we're about to go ahead and grub and as always, we'll see you in the next one. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say Coco. Say bye bye Coco. Say mommy. Say hi mommy.